Hey guys, I'm James Alexander Ellis, as you probably know if you follow my channel, and I'm about to do a three part vlog for my prep for the WBFF World Championships. Okay, so this is something that I have done before, and hopefully, you've seen these vlogs before. The only difference is, is that I didn't compete for two years now, and it's 2017. Mm, we're in August, we're seven days away from the show, and uh, I just thought it would be a good chance to sit down and talk to you guys and address some of the stuff I've addressed in previous vlogs, which I seem to think went down pretty well, which is where I'm at with my prep, why I decided to compete, how I'm feeling right now, what I've been doing with my training, um, what I'm doing after this, what I next do for the next few days, and then I'll finish up with... Uh, Parts two and part three. Part will be part three will be like actually at the venue, pretty much on show day, on the morning of the show. So you'll get to see what goes on. I'll get as much behind the scenes footage as possible. Um, in the meantime, like I said, if you scroll through my playlist, you'll see vlogs from probably three previous WBFF World shows. Okay. Uh, if you don't recognise this background, it's because I've moved house in the last few years. Lucky me. But I still live in London, so. All good because the show is in London this year and that's what's super exciting about this and one of the reasons I decided to come out of retirement is because the uh, the gurus at WFF namely Paul Dillette and Alison um, they decided London's the place to be we've had so many great London shows here why not make the worlds at London so it's at the Indigo O2 Saturday 26th is the main event you know, amateurs do Friday the 25th Okay, and uh, if you look online at axs.com, you can get tickets for that. If you guys are not able to go over to the Indigo O2, for example, if you live in Botswana or South Africa, um, then you can tune in to the Facebook page, and the Facebook page for WBFF will stream the whole event live. That's pretty cool, because normally, as you know, you'd be buying a pay-per-view if you wanted to watch the stuff. Okay, so, a bit of an intro there. Moving on, I feel pretty good, preps are really difficult, I've had my ups and downs, if you see me in the gym, some days I look like I don't want to be there, and other days I'm cool, I'm talking to people, that's prep life, you know, none of us really understand why we are um, zombified, well we do, it's, it's pretty clear that cumulative fatigue and, and cumulative under eating are going to turn you into a bit of a slug <laughs> after a while, but um, yeah, I wouldn't say this has been an easy prep. I wouldn't say it's been a hard prep. Um, um, I deliberately made a choice. I chose to use the services of Nathan Harewood um, because I believed in him so fully after my last performance, which for those of you who don't remember, tut, 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 I took third place at Worlds in 2013 up against Roger Snipes and Wittenberg. I was over the moon, and it was by far my best placing, and it was my best conditioning as well. So... If I can repeat something like that two hours, two, two years later, that's going to be amazing, right? Because the standard just goes up and up every year. Um, so yeah, I feel all right at the moment. Um, my current schedule is I'm training six days a week. I'm eating a pretty decent calorie deficit of about a thousand calories a day, maybe more. And I am eating like relatively plain foods. My diet's just been changed because peak week is about to happen. Um, although I don't know the details of my peak week plan yet, because uh, Nathan's particularly good at doing intuitive one-to-one -one check-ins before he gives too much advice. Um, I'm certainly eating the most um, smallest, boring, and most um, plain amount of food. So um, a lot of my little luxuries have started to disappear out of my diet, like my cashew butter's going and all that kind of thing. Uh, my oats are down to like this much. Uh, Condition-wise and physique-wise, this is the big thing for me. I'm coming into the show probably three to four kilos heavier, which is awesome. Everyone wants to get bigger and bigger for the next show. The fitness models are getting bigger. The muscle models are getting bigger. Before we know, we're all going to be bodybuilders. Um, so yeah, I think I've got some gains on my upper body, which gives me enough to stand toe to toe with people like Wittenberg and people like AJ, who have got some pretty awesome arms and really, really tiny waists. Things I certainly wasn't born with and I've had to train myself um, into, uh, into submission to get those things. Um, I'll give you a little physique update. You probably won't be able to see too much here, but 
I know that's why you're here. Big shout out to my sponsor, Cymex, by the way. They are supporting me as always through this. Here's a little shot on the legs. So not too slouchy there in the cuts department. They'll dry out over the next week or so. Gotta hate that term, dry out. And here's a little bit of upper body. So I've got some pretty good separation coming in in brachialis, brachioradialis. All right. So there you go. That's my physique. Updated, pretty happy one week out. I know that peak week, uh, the last little changes, a few extra shots of cardio. I should drop like another half kilo of body fat. I'll be ready to get up there. Just drop my stuff. I've done a posing routine with the legend Audrey Caipio. We always do our posing together. We always do it pretty last minute. She always comes up with something a bit different. This is the most radical one yet. So she has come up with something that's particularly radical. And uh, when I first did it, I wasn't comfortable doing it at all. But um, we've had a few goes now. Safe to say when I walk out onto the stage in seven days time, the judges and the crowd will not be expecting the things that I do. I think they'll be expecting a repeat of a previous posing routine, but that ain't gonna happen. Because um, ideally I've got a show to win, I need to do something different. Um, this will be my sixth pro show, so I am officially a veteran. So guys, if you, go, if you don't know me and you haven't followed my stuff, I've been competing for the WFF since 2012. Um, and I've actually done five or six pro shows in that time and I've placed high, which is the thing that's kept me going is that I've had faith from the judges, I've had third places, I've had fifth places, I've had sixth places. And at pro shows, these are, these are not to be sniffed at. So it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Um, really, I've gone over diet, I've gone over my training. Um, I feel I'm pretty upbeat. Uh, tonight is the night where I get my last cheat meal, which is really cool. Um, as competitors, we live off cheat meals. They're something that we uh, plan our whole weeks around whilst we deprive ourselves during the week. Um, so I've booked my girlfriend and I into uh, this amazing burger joint in London. Again, living in London is pretty amazing because there's so much choice. So we're gonna go and get like a bunch of fat and carbs and sugars and then that's it. I'm gonna spend um, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and at least till Wednesday living off nothing but like green vegetables and plain low-fat meats, no sauces, sugars, no sweeteners, ugh, horrible. So I best enjoy tonight. Um, I'm gonna cut this out now so that you guys can have some more information out of me on part two. And part two, I think I'm gonna do around about three days out. Um, when it's probably I'll have checked into the Intercontinental Hotel and uh, I'll get some kind of behind the scenes and I'll show you some of the other competitors and we'll have a bit of banter and stuff. If you've seen my previous vlogs, that's generally how it, how it works. As we get close to the show, I'll get a bit more interactive and start showing you other people. So, over and out. Check out all my other channels to follow more of this stuff. So it's at James Alexander Ellis, which is Instagram. It's James Alexander Ellis on the Facebook page. And in case you use Twitter and you're really boring, it's at James Ellis PT. Over and out, my diet face is coming back. And yes, I'm gonna get my eyebrows done. See you soon.